for you it's me again clam from clam Traff Vlog. it's another episode of additional knowledge today i'm going to talk about melbourne suburb start with p part one let's go <music> The township of the area was surveyed in the 1850s. It was named after Sir Edward Peckham, a British general major who fought in Peninsula War. Additional knowledge Regarding Sir Edward Peckham, he was a politician as well as a British army officer who involved in the Battle of Peninsula War, War of 1812, as well as the 1798 Rebellion War and the War of Copenhagen. He was born in Peckham Hall on the 19th of March 1778. He was the son of the second Baron Longford, Edward Michael Peckham, as well as the brother-in-law of the Duke of Wellington, Sir Arthur Wellesley. He represented Longford Borough in the Irish House of Commons between the 1799 and 1800. In 1814, he was promoted to the rank of Major General and the Commander of the British North American Army during the War of 1812. Just a few months after his promotion, on the 8th of January 1815, he was in action while leading his army in the Battle of New Orleans. In legacy, there is a statue in his memory at the St. Paul Cathedral of London. The village of Peckham at Ontario, Canada, named in honour of the general short visit of the area and his role in the 1812. Furthermore, as well as the suburb of Peckham in Victoria. The area was originally known as the park since the 1870s. Apparently, in the 1902, a prominent Victorian orchardist, Tom Petty, brought a 559 acres of land and converted it into 80 blocks of orchards. And then, the area began as a grassland subdivision in the 1920s. During this period in the 1925, the residential suburbs of Park Orchard was created when timber merchant Australis Sharp and John Taylor launched the Park Orchard Country Club Estates. It was believed the name was derived from Tom Petty's orchard block on the park. The area of today, Parkdale, was founded in 1920 as a locality shared by Menton and Modiolog and emerged as a separate suburb in the 1999. The name Parkdale was used by the Victorian Railways when a station was opened in the 1920s. It was named after William Parker, an early landowner of the area. The suburb may have named after Royal Park, which occupied most of the suburb's area. Additional knowledge Royal Park, the Melbourne largest inner city park with the size of 181 hectares. The park was planned by Governor Charles Latrobe in the 1845 and proclaimed in 1854. It was notable as the set-out point for the Burke and Wills expedition to cross Australia from south to north in the 1860s. A king was now erected at the departure point of their expedition in the Royal Park. Besides from that, the park was also used as a military encampment during the World Wars. Was named after Pascoville, an estate settled by John Pascoe Faulkner in 1839. The area of Patterson Lake was originally part of Karun Karun Swamp. It was surveyed in the 1866 and subdivided in the 1870s. The first drainage work commenced in the 1873 attempt to reclaim the lower swamplands. 
In 1876, they decided to cut a channel which was known as Patterson Cut to the Port Phillip Bay. It was named after James Brown's I feel good da -da 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 -da. Not this James Brown's, I'm talking about James Brown's Patterson A state parliamentarian, then the Minister of Public Works who involved in this project And then the Karun Karun song was successfully drained in 1879 and become part of the land for few suburbs in the area which including today Patterson's Lake the only remaining part of the Karun Karun Swamp form today's Edivel Seafort wetlands. The suburb of Plenty was named after the nearby Plenty River. Meanwhile, the river was named by Joseph Tice Gallibrand in the 1836. He was the member of the Port Phillip Association. Additional knowledge. The 47 km length Plenty River is a Panero River which rises from the slope of Mount Disappointment and reaching its confluence with the Yara River. Meanwhile, interestingly, Mount Disappointment was named by Hume and Hover in 1824, while they climbed to the summit and hoped to view the distinct of Port Phillip Bay. Unfortunately, the mountain's many trees prevented this, resulting in their immense disappointment. That's why they named it Mount Disappointment. Alright, back to Plenty River. It was actually named as Kurum by the Aborigines. It was actually a major pathway for the Wurundjeri people by providing water, food and shelter. Like I mentioned before, it was named as Plenty River by Joseph Tice Gallibrand in the 1836. Why he named it Plenty River when it's only one river? And... He named it Plenty River due to the surrounding country having plenty promising expect. <coughs> Furthermore, Plenty River was the source of Melbourne's first major water supply reservoir, the Yang Yang Reservoir, which completed in 1857. Okay? <coughs> The area of today, Lower Plenty, was part of Etham in the early times. The suburb name was named after Lower Plenty Toll Bridge, which was built in the 1860s to collect tolls to cross the Plenty River. Money, 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 money. The bridge was proposed in the 1855 by an Hungarian Sikisman Veki and local landowner of the area. His primary purpose of the bridge was to connect Lower Plenty and Temple Stove. Today, this bluestone bridge is still standing and became part of the Plenty River Trail. Alright, that's it for this episode. I will see you on my next video. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. I will see you on my next episode. Goodbye.